Welcome to ECMID TV as our Congress begins to kick off. I'm delighted to introduce you to the first of our guests, a couple of the most important people at the Congress. We have Murat Akova, the uh, ECMID president, and of course we have Professor Winfried Kern, the ECMID program director, joining us both here in our TV studios. Gentlemen, a real pleasure to have you both. Pleasure to be here. Murat, to start with you, sir, if I may. Um, it must be now an incredible feeling to walk through the doors to see the fruits of all of your and your team's hard labor. This is one impressive Congress, isn't it? It is an incredible feeling, you're right. I mean, it's, it, this, is, this is a very big meeting. To tell you the truth, this is the biggest meeting of the world about clinical microbiology and infectious diseases, and we, we are proud of that. Winfried, if I can ask you to, uh, to join us now, the, um, the, nu the number of delegates here is outstanding. We've got over 8,000 delegates. We've got, wow, uh, 10,000 participants in total. That's huge, isn't it? It's a lot of hard work to bring them all here as well. Yes, it's a lot of work, I must say. We <coughs> worked on the program, on the scientific program and the organization hard to make 10,000 attendees come uh, to this meeting and we made it so we are happy so the world in their specialized field is really here for the next few days talking yeah. sharing learning yeah. and growing yeah awesome. absolutely Murat 108 countries I mean if you look at the world map and we have over on the other side of the exhibition hall a world map of where all the people in the world have come from I mean we're looking at over hundred and eight countries very few places in the world now where you could put a pin in the map and say, oh, there's nobody from here. I've checked for the Sahara. The, I'm just a lot from Coming Africa. from Sahara as well. Well, I'll tell you what, I mean, this is a European society because the name is European Society of Clinical Microbiology and Infectious Diseases. But I can proudly say that we are a global society now because we operate on all continents except Arctic, maybe. No one, you can say no one is coming from Arctic. I'm not sure about that. I should check. We have but to check. We have to check. Yeah. But uh, apart from that, we are people coming from Australia, South America, North America, Africa, you know, e everywhere, you name it. And you said that it's more than 100 countries. So it, it is it remarkable. It um, is. And it when is. you look back into the history, this is the 25th Congress. I know they're not always held every year, or in the past they weren't held every year. Um, you won't remember number one, of course, because you were two years old probably when that happened. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but I mean, if you think back to the very first Congress, how many people came to that? It was a small Congress. I can't, I can't give you the exact figures, but I think it was a couple of hundred then. But then it grew steadily and uh, the society started to organize it every other year. And then uh, until the end of 1990s, we started to have it every year. And since then we grew. Uh, I remember first it was in 2001, it was in my hometown, Istanbul, which is going to be the next venue. Uh, for us and in uh, in Istanbul it was a record breaking event as we called it and it was barely more than 5000 people and so just and 10 years ago we were half the number of attendees that so we doubled yeah yeah Very within 10 years yeah of yeah. course you must feel fantastic about it yeah it's good. I mean, a lot of hard work. When people are walking in now, as they are, as the Congress begins and runs for the next few days, I think there's a wow factor when you walk into the Congress halls here, the exhibitions, the symposia, the keynote speeches that are lined up. I mean, it really is a superb job. How does that make you feel looking at the fruit of all of your labors now? Well, how do I feel? I feel happy. I feel the atmosphere. I feel the diverse field of infection and the specialists we can bring together here. So, um, and I very much hope that people will love it and uh, will appreciate that they have the opportunity to meet, to gain knowledge, to have interaction. So, I feel well, I like the color. Initially, I was not sure whether it's good. No, it's very but eco, now it's I like very it. Danish. It's yeah, it's a, it's a good atmosphere. The venue is great. Um, we would love to come back uh, yeah. in a few years to sure. Denmark yeah. for another brilliant Congress. We're at 203 sessions. How do you choose as a delegate which one to go to, do you think? It's very difficult to decide, to tell you the truth. But fortunately, what we are doing, we are recording all these sessions. So for the members and for the non-members as well, for a couple of months after the meeting, it would be possible to go to the internet and check and to see. But of course, it's a big decision because the, we are running more than, what, 15 sessions at the same time? Yes. Sometimes 18, 20 sessions. You have to clone yourself. You, well, of course. Well, I mean, or you have yeah. to choose at least Absolutely. one, but this is going to be a difficult decision. And we are very proud, just to add what Winfried was saying, 
um, it's not a single man work. I mean, he did a great job because he was the uh, he was the director of the program committee, so he organized all this. Uh, but we are proud of our members of our society because we have approximately 30 study groups. They contributed. We have more than 50 affiliated societies throughout the world. They contributed as well. And we have our members. So our members are a big stimulant, actually. So they stimulate all the time. They give ideas. So we are very proud of the society itself, not on the Congress, because the Congress itself is a creation of these people. And um, as you say, a wealth of knowledge from all the experts in their fields of across all, these, all of these disciplines. Innovations, you've put the program together as well, Winfried, as Murat says. Um, you've got a lot of innovations, not just the TV studio that we're in this morning. Uh, there's e-posters, there's virtual exhibitions. Take us through some of those, sir, if you will. Yeah, we had last, last year we had already an e-poster session opportunity, but this year we have improved that. Um, <coughs> It's much more interactive. You can send the poster to your friend, to your girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever you want. You can go, you can search uh, topic-wise, for example, and look through all the posters in a minute and decide what you would like to look at in more detail. So I think that's a cr that's a great opportunity. We have the app. Did you did you see the app? Yeah, I've downloaded it on my phone already. Actually, it's very. You useful. like it? I love it. I think it's user friendly. It's there. I would urge everyone to get into the app and make sure that they're downloading it as well. And you can go into a session, and if you want to ask a question, you can type it into your smartphone, and the moderator will have it on it his screen. Fantastic. And then try to answer that question. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess in this day and age, we're one click away from everything. The fact that we're real now here in Copenhagen at the moment, but virtually this Congress will live on for posterity, won't it? As you say, Murat, it's, oh, yeah, you yeah, know, everything course. is going to be available to all of the delegates to be shared, talked about, discussed and debated. Yeah. And that's a very useful thing. Oh, yeah, of course. And we are experimenting another thing as well. Now, some sessions today, this morning or this afternoon is going to be live transmitted to China, for example. So yeah, those just done those a live broadcast with China oh yeah, now, of course. So uh, those people who are not able to come to Copenhagen, they will be able to see the whole session and they will be uh, able to ask questions, etc. So this is remarkable, I guess. It's a very, very cool exciting. Thing. Yeah. When we talk about posterity, Winfried, if you look back a year from now, as we go towards Congress 26 in Istanbul, when the delegates look back, what would you most like them to remember? about the experience here at ECMED in Copenhagen? I think they should have the feeling that uh, we contributed to the scientific debate and thought and to an advanced level professional education. That's the one side. And the other side is meeting colleagues, making friendship, having a good time here in Copenhagen. Um, and enjoying their time being here. Because as important as the program, and you are the program director, the, the networking side of things is huge, isn't it? Yeah, <coughs> absolutely. So you'd expect them to be spending time over coffees, over one or two maybe Danish beers? Yeah, probably. We have many opportunities to meet, small groups meeting, uh, discussing about uh, projects, about research projects and so on. And I think people will love it that they have the opportunity to meet people from all over the world interested in the same area. And meeting booths around the exhibition space as well, when I had the walkthrough earlier this morning. <coughs> Looking at the complexity and the size of this, there seems to be everything for everybody here, Murat. Would oh you yeah, agree of course. With that? Of course. I mean, uh, this was the idea, to tell you the truth. I mean, if when you come to a meeting, it's not only the scientific part, but as you were saying, it's the networking part as well. And this is a part of networking. So you meet new people, you meet industry, industry meets academy. So this is a kind of interaction, what we aim, and I think we are successful about that. And just to add again what Winfried was saying, the society um, determined its, um, its uh, priorities, and we determined two aspects, actually. One is networking, as we were explaining. And uh, the other one is um, synergy. So, and then the other one is encouragement. So we encourage young people, we encourage scientists to come to the meeting, to learn, to see new things, new developments, and then to get uh, acquainted with, with the others, uh, ask questions, to learn from each other. And also we, uh, we are proud that we encourage a lot our young generation, our young scientists as well. So we give awards. We encourage them to participate to the society, to take role in active parts in, uh, you know, in working groups, in study groups as well. So 
this is what we are aiming. So I it's not a single it's not a single meeting that somebody is lecturing and you're supposed to listen. No, it's not like that. It's a it's an active meeting. It's a lively meeting. It's this a is living meeting. Mid world. It's oh yes. everything in yes, under exactly. one roof. Exactly. Under four and a half thousand square meters of roof. One of the things that caught my eye, Winfried, was the um, the young sort of pioneering pipeline development area where youngsters can come in and pitch their ideas and some serious corporate players are going to be gathered around watching, looking at new concepts, looking at new ideas as well. So especially embracing the new, the fresh, the exciting, that kind of appealed to me in a big way. You mean the pipeline corner yes. over there? Yeah. Yes, we thought that um, small companies, spin-off companies with very early developments, research developments, they merit more room for interaction and presentation of their results. And we want to attract those small companies to present their ideas, their developments, and also try to make uh, contacts with uh, companies and research, research groups to further develop their products. We're going to meet the lady behind that pipeline a little later and bring her an interview here on, the, on ECMID TV. Um, I reckon those presenters are going to be a little bit nervous, excited, but nervous. Pitching your ideas, pitching your thoughts. There's some heavyweight people sitting in the audience. I don't understand this. It, when you think about the youngsters coming through or the smaller companies coming through in the pipeline? No, I, I think they will love it. They're not nervous. Oh, it's a great opportunity. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, of course. They're not nervous. They, they, will, they will be happy to have the opportunity to meet other people interested in their product. So <laughs> not nervous at all. Uh, they will love it. Cool. Excellent. Murat, final question from me on your side, sir. The walk away. When people walk out of here at the end of Congress, what do you want them walking away thinking, feeling or saying? Uh, if I want to explain in one single word, I would like them to say that I learned something. So that's, that's the most important part. But it's not only learning from listening to the lectures, as I was said. I mean, they, they meet their colleagues, uh, they interact, they learn from each other, and they will have the feeling that ECMIT, ECMIT is actually is a great venue. So j I just updated myself. So I'm now full of idea what's that's been going on in the world about infectious diseases and clinical microbiology. I, I think this is the most important thing we aim and we will be successful. So I'm learning, sure thinking, it. sharing, networking. Exactly. And walking out with smiles on their faces. Exactly. Final thought from yourself, sir? What message would you like to leave our delegates with? Yeah, we hope we make a difference in their professional life and in their interactive uh, opportunities. And that's what we want to achieve and we want to be attractive for young people, young scientists. We want to <coughs> we want them to come again. And come again to Istanbul next year in particular. Absolutely. But first for now to enjoy what's here at Copenhagen. Exactly. Thank you both for being with us on ECMA TV. It's a real pleasure having you here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, gentlemen.